JournalIt, is an all-in-one personal productivity app, a single space to organize your personal and professional life. You can capture your thoughts, plan your day, manage your projects, build your knowledge, Journal It is available on Android, iOS and web browser at journalit.app. Premium features are available across all devices regardless of where you made the purchase. The default tab when you open the app is Planner, but you can make the Home tab as default in Settings. In the Planner you can switch between Day, Week, and Month view or Backlog view. We'll go through these views later. The Home tab has two sections, Dashboard and Timeline. Dashboard is where you can add your own customizable panels that suit your needs. You can add, remove, reorder, and minimize them. There are 19 types of panel to choose from, but for now, don't worry about them. They will be more useful once you figured out the app. The timeline is your journaling space. Almost everything can be included into the timeline. From your thoughts and memories to your notes, tasks, goals, and more. Tap the three dot button on each card to customize its look on the timeline. From here, you can customize the color, add stickers, and note your mood and feelings, along with organizers and comments. You can manage your task list from the Tasks tab. We'll return to Tasks later. In the Notes tab, you can add text notes and list. They are suitable to manage your lists, your knowledge and important information. Tap the Create button to reveal the Create panel where you can add both journaling items or planning items. We'll return to it later. You can open the left panel from anywhere in the main screen. The left panel contains another customizable dashboard and shortcuts to variety features of the app. Swiping down from anywhere in the main screen to reveal Command Center. From here you can quickly search and launch your notes, ongoing tasks, recent entries, statistics, go to a specific day on calendar, and much more. There are so many things you can do in Journal It that it could be overwhelming for a new user. But it's not difficult to get started once you have learned some of the basic concepts. And that's the purpose of today's video. In today's video, we'll stick with three items, enough for you to get started. How to plan your day, how to manage your tasks, and how to organize everything. How to plan your day. Journal it use the time blocking method to plan your day. If you're not familiar with the time blocking method, no worries, it's actually very simple. The time blocking method divides your day into blocks of time, for example, work, fun, read, etc. based on the theme or themes of the day, such as work, weekend, holiday, vacation, etc. The time blocking method helps declutter your mind by providing clear separation between different areas of focus. The default theme is either work or weekend. Tap the themes button to modify. You can replace it with another theme. There can be multiple themes for a day. Let's set today's theme to off work. A theme comes with a set of time blocks. For the off work theme, we have three blocks chores, fun, and self-care. You can modify the default blocks as well as the schedule of the theme by tapping the Edit Theme button. Back to today's plan. You are free to add more blocks if needed. For each block, you can set its time ranges. A block can have one or multiple time range or none at all. With these blocks ready, let's make plan for our day. Inside the all day block you can see the habits for today. You can create a new habit by opening the left panel. Habits. Tap the add button. You can learn more about the habit feature in the user guide which will be provided at the end of this video.
Next, let's add calendar sessions into the blocks. Calendar session is a new concept only found in Journalit. Unlike other planner apps, the items on your planner are not tasks but working sessions of tasks. They are called calendar sessions. We'll return to the relationship between tasks and calendar sessions later. For now, let's work with calendar sessions because using them alone is enough for simple tasks. To add a calendar session, tap the plus button on a block, type in the title. For a simple task, that might be all we need. Tap the new session button to finish. Let's create another calendar session. When needed, you can add many details as you want. For example to set the exact time of date, just type it in. Or you might want to make it repeat, just type in repeat and select the schedule. You can modify the schedule in the date and time section. You can also add organizers in the organizers section. We'll learn about the organizers later. Tap the new session button to finish. Now you have a calendar session that repeats every day. If you want to stop repeating or to edit the schedule, just long press the calendar session. Tap set or edit repeat. You can disable the scheduler or modify the configurations from here. You can add subtasks into a calendar session as well as color, note, place, reminder. Upon saving an instance of repeating calendar sessions, the app might ask if you want to apply the changes to future instances. To quickly add a calendar session to any date, you can tap the Create button. You can either select the date and time from the Date and Time section or use natural language processing. Simply type in the date, the block, time of day. Tap enter to start adding note or subtask. Tap the calendar session button to create. When it's time to work on a calendar session, you can use the Pomodoro timer to record the time. Tap the check button to mark the calendar session as done. Now the session is minimized, leave space for the next sessions. At the end of the day, you can move not yet started calendar sessions or duplicate unfinished calendar sessions to another day. Just long press a calendar session, tap move or duplicate, and select the date and time. You can also move the calendar session to backlog which is the place for upcoming calendar sessions without a specific date. Just long press the calendar session, tap move, select backlog in the date section. You can set the target time, it can be either a week or a month. Tap move to finish. You can also tap the reschedule button to reschedule all remaining calendar sessions for today. You can switch between days by swiping or tapping the dates in the navigator. Switch to the week view or month view to plan your week or month. Or the backlog view to view the calendar sessions currently in backlog. These views support variety of filtering and grouping options to better assist your planning. How to manage your tasks. For simple tasks, 
using the calendar session feature alone is enough. But if you have complex tasks that span across multiple days then the task feature is for you. A task can connect multiple calendar sessions and has many powerful features that allow you to work on it across different stages through a long period of time. When you have an idea for a task, just create a task in the idea stage. For the ideas that stick, you move them to the to-do stage to work on later. If not, you simply delete them. Move the tasks into in-progress stage when you start working on them. If the task is small, you can convert it into a calendar session. Put tasks in depending stage when they're not in your focus at the moment but you will return to them later. And move them to the finalized stage when you're done. To create a new task, tap the add button. Type in the title. Select default time of day for its calendar sessions. Set due date if needed. Select the organizers. Select the appropriate stage. Let's select idea stage because it's just an idea for now. You can set the color if needed. Then tap the add task button. You can find the newly created task in the idea tab. Let's move it to in progress stage. Now let do detail planning for our task. In the KPI section, you can set ways to measure the progress of this task. For example, let's track the time we spend on this task. And a checklist. In the notes section, you can add notes that belong exclusively to this task. Or from existing notes. You can plan calendar sessions for this task, either in the draft calendar session section. Or right in the calendar. You can also select the task when adding calendar sessions in the Add Calendar Session view or the Create panel. Simply pick the task in the Task or Goal section. Or type in the task name in the text input. And select the task. How to organize everything. Pretty much everything in Journalit can be organized with six types of organizers. To view all the organizing options, open the left panel. Organizers. You can organize items into areas of life, projects, activities, tags, people, and places. You can have nesting organizers. For instance, a project can belong to different areas, another project, or tags. When you organize something with the project, the parent organizers will also be added. As a tip, if you have problem deciding whether you should create a project or an activity, just remember that a project has a starting and ending date while an activity doesn't.
Each organizer can have its own space with a customizable dashboard and timeline. There are many ways to add organizers to your journaling and planning items. In the Create panel, you can select the organizers before creating the new item. You can always long press on an existing item and tap Organize to modify its organizers. Support and resources. When you want to explore more features, please check out the user guide at guide.journalit.app. If you are a premium user, or if you already finished the build journaling habit goal then you can join our user support and community group on Facebook. You can also find Journal It Community on Reddit. You can follow our social media channels to find out about the latest updates as well as helpful tips to use Journal It. If you have any question, please do not hesitate and contact me at hi at doit.me. That's it for today's video. I hope you find it helpful. Please leave a comment if you have feedback or questions so I can make better videos in the future. Happy journaling!